안녕하세요 여러분 저는 아스틴입니다 Today we came to a very special kabuksu matchup near Kais. I'm super excited because I'm joined by two very smart Kais researchers. Uh, my name is Yoon So Ye, Department of Material Science and Engineering. Nice. Hi, I'm Kim Ji Soo, double major in Computer Science and Business Technology Management. Yeah, nice <laughs> to meet you. Yeah. Nice, but I'm super hungry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's about lunchtime now, mm -hmm. right? I think we should order some food. Are we ready to order? Is it okay? Are you good at eating spicy food? Love spicy oh, food. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. then, like, or you can eat kalguksu. It is spicy, but okay. it is also good. Do you guys know dubuduru jiki? No, okay. I've never tried it. Wow, we're in deja. <laughs> we have to try that. Okay, so let's get three things. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, Sajangnim, orkon ga kalguksu hanarang. Nojong kalguksu? Uh, okay. What do you guys think Daejeon is famous for? What kind of food? And Hana, two, set. Oh yeah, bread, right? Yeah. Do you guys know why kalguksu is so famous and bang is so famous in Daejeon? Bread. <laughs> so like after the Korean War, mm -hmm. Korea went through a really tough time. And the U.S. actually donated a lot of nilgaru. So the U.S. Army would put, donated tons of nilgaru. Oh. Started to make bread with the extra nilgaru. Sungshindang opened. And also many, many kabuksu restaurants started to open up to use the extra nilgaru. Daejeon, which was like the center of the nilgaru after the Korean War, it's really famous for kabuksu now. And it's the same, the story's tied to, you know, Busan. Could you recommend uh, good food in Daejeon? I think actually a lot of people call Daejeon like no jam chi, right? But I think there's really delicious food in Daejeon. For me, I really love these like nopo matchup. You guys know nopo? And my favorite one is in Yusong Oiljong area, Wanjo Duikoki. Everybody, when they hear a foreigner say Duikoki, they say Bulgogi? No, Duikoki. There's a famous place in Bomyongdong too oh. called Mashigi Tongcha. Mashigi Tongcha. Oh, you know oh yeah, place? I know. Yeah. yeah. I think you know this one. Uh, Tapyong Sogukba. Oh yeah. Every day, yeah. every day, yeah. Jean person yeah. knows <laughs> Tapyong Sogukba. I love it. I love it. A professor said you like spicy food. I love spicy. So food. I want to recommend Tersunebeun Kaibi because oh. bean sprouts are added to Kaibi dims. It makes it. More tastefully spicy. Nice. Do you uh, so is it good anju? I usually enjoy with soju. Okay, <laughs> I'll do that. Sounds awesome. <laughs> oh, tastes good. Our food is coming. Yeah. We gotta get our camera going. Oh my god, look at the pajang. Wow. Wow. Looks nice. My head starts to feel dizzy. I'm like, do I get <laughs> first, spicy, uh, clean? All right. I'm gonna go for Pajan. Let's try it. Oh, it's like, like pizza slice. Do you want some? I can serve some. <laughs> yeah. Let's enjoy. All right, let's try the Pajan. Oh my god. Come on, my soy. Paso, paso, yeah. Really crispy. Mm. Do you know like the expression "popa mm -hmm. sok in Korean? Mm -hmm. oh. so yeah, so it, is, it means that like the outside is crispy and the inside is like really juicy and soft, yeah. which is like exactly this one. Yeah, popa yeah. sok I gotta remember that word. Yeah. Very useful word. Popa mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. With that mm -hmm. greasy pajan. Mm. Oh my gosh. So nice. <laughs> what do you think? Delicious? Yes. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Let's see here. The dubuduru jiggy looks wonderful. So I'm curious about this one. Oh, so nice. Oh, is it yeah. spicy? Very spicy. Oh. But I like spicy ones. 
Wow, it is spicy. <laughs> I think your spice tolerance is better than me. <laughs> wow. You need the suka piras. I think you need that with this dish. And I think they're using turkiram, maybe? Not chamgiram, turkiram. Oh no! Oh my gosh, edit that, please. Uh, I thought for sure turkiram. Thank you. I, I'm learning. This is about learning. And that's a good thing for Kais students. If you make a mistake, it's okay. It's how you learn. <laughs> So we've got the Alkong Kagutsu. We'll share germs today, but wow, yeah. You gotta show the noodles, right? And then this one is the Mujong um, Kagutsu. Chom chom mogobasayo. Mujong Kagutsu. I heard that they call this Mujong Kagutsu because when it squirts water, it's mm -hmm. like a water gun. Like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doing my best. I'm gonna try the spicy one too. Ooh, it looks nice. There's some egg in there. Oh. Wow. Good. I think you're really good at eating like spicy foods, and like generally, many people think that Koreans are really good at spicy yeah. foods because we're exposed to a lot of spice. Mm. And so I thought it was like genetic because my dad is also like really like not good at eating spicy foods. Yeah. yeah. Could, well, actually, I have an interesting question. Could an AI in the future mm -hmm. taste? Is it possible? Instead of chat GPT, it could be like Makjip GPT or like Kaguksu GPT. <laughs> I've developed like AI models and it is based on like data sets they in they like trained. I never like heard of data set that is like can have a taste. <laughs> Maybe in the future yeah. you could have an AI mukbang YouTuber, oh, like a robot. Be, uh, really and cool. then it'll taste and then it will be able to tell if it's actually chamgiram or dukiram. <laughs> yeah, better than me. <laughs> Not chamgiram, dukiram. So anyways. Thank you for having lunch with me. So what did you guys think about the food today? I will uh, revisit here with my friends. Yeah, I want to come here for lunch. I feel like this place is like quite different for dinner. Oh, Because really? have you ever tried makbolli? Oh, I love makbolli. Yeah, yeah, like these foods are really, goes really well with sure, makbolli. Yeah. So like if you come in dinner time. Today, I'm so happy. But if you have any recommendations of some good matjip near kais, let us know in the comments. I know there's tons of them that you guys love. So thank you for watching. Welcome, guys!